The day I got my Lightroom camera was the day my photography changed. It was something so new and so unique that I'd never even used anything like this before. Just thinking that I could take a single shot and have the ability to refocus it after it had been taken was something completely new to me and completely new to everyone else in the photography sector. I think that this really did open up people's eyes into what they could do rather than just focusing on a single shot. It's collecting one shot and have been able to tell a story within it. The light tray collected light information rather than pixel information and that's what enabled it to be able to refocus. It was really simple to use, just turn it on, get your subject in the shot and the best way it would work would normally be have someone holding something like an object or having multiple different um, pieces of interaction within the depth of field, take your shot and then afterwards once you've uh, collected your photos you put them in the software and click and see your fo uh, picture refocus b before your eyes. It was very, uh, very strange to see the first time I ever played around with it and uh, it really did open my eyes into what was possible. However, Lytro Illumum, the new camera, a fantastic looking piece of kit, very very different form to the original camera, looks more like a normal camera now but has some, uh, some very interesting uh, features, um, weighing in at 940 grams, uh, it's made of magnesium and aluminium, um, it has very different uh, focal length compared to the original camera of uh, 30 to 255, uh, sorry, 250 millimeter equivalent, uh, and it has an eight time optical zoom. So uh, very different to the original camera, and looks more like a normal camera. I think the great thing about this is, is because it's a normal camera, it now means that people in various different sectors can not only use it for what they would normally do with a normal camera, is now actually use it to have an interactive story per se. So now it really does open up the uh, the creativity of what people want to achieve and I think with the clips that you've just seen it really does bring a whole new dimension to photography and what is actually achievable just with a little bit of uh, creativity and uh, mindset. So just going back to the technical specs, as I said it doesn't actually collect pixel information as such. Uh, it has a light field sensor uh, based on a CMOS technology. Um, it has an ISO ranging down from 80 up to 3200, which is pretty good. Um, in terms of the actual export resolution, because a lot of people complained about the original Lytro that the actual export resolution wasn't that great. On this you're going to get 2450 by 1634, which is pretty good. Um, but as I've said to people, the whole point of this camera is that it's not just for print, it should be used for social. And I think the last time I printed a picture was a very, very long time ago, and since most people take their pictures now and share them on social networking sites, this camera is going to really open this up. I think there's nothing better than now having the ability to share a picture and have other people tell a story from within it. So there we go, the Lytro Illuma uh, coming soon. and. Uh, Fingers crossed, hopefully I'll be getting one soon.